guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, hello, welcome, my name is Twee, thank you so much for joining me, I would love it if you subscribe. So in today's video, I'm actually going to be filming an Amazon haul, I've been obsessed with watching what people buy on Amazon, because Amazon is a bit of a hard place to navigate, you kind of know what you need to search for to search for it, if that makes sense, so I am going to contribute to this society and I'm going to be showing you guys my favourite things that I've ever bought from Amazon, stuff that I use day to day, stuff that helps me with my work. So if you guys want to see what I'm loving from Amazon, please keep watching. Okay guys, so I've compiled a list. Some stuff I can actually show you which is right here, some stuff is actually like all around my house that I can't really take out because it's too bulky to show you guys on camera. Okay, so the first product that I want to show you guys is something that I bought probably like a month ago and I'm absolutely loving it right now. It's super, super cheap. It comes in this little bag here. This is actually called a clip-on ponytail. So I've actually got in two different lengths. I've got one in 20 inches, which is this one, which is a bit ratty right now and is a good brush. And I actually have another one, which is 26 inches. Whoa, this girl's a long one. I haven't worn this one yet. So this is actually a synthetic clip-on wig. And what I like the most about it is that it's not a really shiny fake synthetic wig and I love this for whenever I want my hair to look extra long and snatched but I'm terrible at hair guys as you can see look this part ain't even straight girl so I'm so impatient when it comes to hair so I love with this it's actually just got like a clamp just in the middle here I do have to say that my hair is really easy to match because I just have black hair but if you have like medium brown hair i don't know it might be quite hard to find your exact color because it is synthetic they do definitely do a lot of colors i've seen this in blonde red all different shades of brown so i'll leave them down below what i do is i put my hair in a ponytail and then i just literally clip this i can even show you now look obviously my hair needs to be snatched underneath but you can kind of get the gist of it i'll kind of like puff this bit out so my hair would be either on top of this ponytail or underneath the ponytail and you can just have like a fake ass pony or you can also pop it in at the bottom so at the moment my hair's in a ponytail and i just want a bit more volume so i just pop it right on top of that and look it might be a bit ratty now but it looks like a super long and thick next up is also a hair product when i hold up to the camera you guys are going to be like what the hell is that? That looks like a dead rat. And it kind of does look like a dead rat. When Graham saw this, he's like, what the fuck is this? I do have to say, this probably is not the best quality you can get my sister actually got another one that looks so much better so i'll link that down below so what it is it's just a hair bag but it's got synthetic hair all around it so you can basically flip your hair upside down like this i'm gonna do it really really roughly for you guys and you basically just put your hair into this crazy ass messy bun and it just makes it look like you got a super messy bun i actually love a big bun and i find it really hard because my hair is long sometimes it goes really like too like floppy that makes sense so this gives it a bit more texture and then what i do is i literally just pin stuff like this in i kind of maneuver it about looks a bit crazy now but it's so cute when you actually do your hair up i know this is probably not a good example it looks really really nice just like a big full fat bushy bun oh my god and it's really easy to get out of your hair as well because it doesn't get all tangled and stuff so the next thing i actually can't show you because i'm using it right now as we speak it's actually a plug-in camera battery if you have a canon i've got the canon 80d definitely do your research because before i used to buy hella batteries you guys can see here how many batteries i have and i've got so many of these charges and stuff and honestly if you do youtube instagram anything like that one of the most frustrating things ever is trying to film and then your battery dies it used to be really annoying because when a battery would die i'd have to go into the camera you know take it out of the little tripod put a new battery in set up the camera again and it would just be so annoying because i would never get the exact same shot as i had before so i was on amazon i was typing the lpe6 battery which is the type of battery i need for my canon 80d and i found this battery that actually had a wall socket plug on it and i was like oh my god is this like a continuous battery so i bought it, it was only like 12 or 16 pounds something so affordable and it saved my life if you're set up with your camera is just always there you have a little studio going on at home get yourself one of these batteries guys because it saves my life it wasn't even that expensive you just plug it straight into the wall and it's forever on it doesn't flash red it doesn't go down it's just always permanently three bars and then if i'm ever taking my camera out and about i'll use the normal batteries that it comes with but this battery it has like a, a wire that goes all the way down to the wall socket and you just plug it in and it's just forever 
on until you turn it off. So the next thing I have to tell you guys, I've shown it before on my channel, but it's actually a remote control socket. So I bought these on Amazon. You can actually buy it in like Asda or any other store that kind of sells anything electronical really. So this is the remote for it. So basically what it is, is a socket that is controlled by this little remote here. And it's so good for around the house as well. If you want to save electricity and you forgot to like turn off the lamp upstairs, you can literally just use this remote and it will turn it off. So for example, I have on my two softbox lights and if I actually have to turn it on manually I have to go behind every single softbox and turn off like five switches which is so long instead I plug it into one of these sockets and I just press these buttons here for on and off so I'll show you guys right now that's one two this is like my softbox so I'm super dark right now so I just press this one and two and it just turns on and it's just so easy just two buttons rather than have to go around every single bit of lighting and turn it all on. So it's such an amazing little gadget here so get yourself some remote control sockets. A lot of stuff that I'm showing you guys is super cheap as well but it's just cool knowing about stuff like this actually exists. Okay next up I'm going to show you guys these little bad boys. I actually had no idea these actually existed until someone told me about them and I was like oh my gosh this is perfect. So this is actually a drawer divider. So I have a lot of drawers. If you guys see from my room tour, you guys can see all my drawers, all my makeup, and it's really hard to get stuff sectioned off. So this is literally perfect. I got this in like a pack. I think I got a pack of like five or something. I'll leave them down below. But I just love the fact you can adjust it, and then it has like a little clip here at the back, and you just lock it into place, and then it doesn't move anymore. So it's really good for Alex drawers. It also has a deeper one available. So this one's a shorter one. So really good for like the shallow drawers. And if you've got like deeper drawers, this is so good to divide your makeup in or just any drawers in general around the house. And again, this is a really adjustable. And then you just clip it into place by using this. And then it doesn't move anymore. So handy, right? So freaking handy. So Glam's gonna legit kill me because I just realised that the mic was pointing down to the ground because I was just taking photos and you can't turn on the mic with this freaking flash. So if the audio is a bit different, please excuse me, it's in the right place now. Don't shoot me Gwen. Next up, I think you guys will really like this one because it's my go-to travel makeup case. I am like a huge travel case buyer. I love looking at different makeup bags, more so makeup bags that can hold a lot of makeup and different compartments and stuff. So I was watching Desi Perkins' travel video, and I was like, oh my god, I love that, because you can see everything all laid out. But the one that she had was really, really big. So I actually bought a smaller version of it, but for me, I personally found it a bit too small. So I actually gave that to my sister, and I bought a new one. So here it is. <laughs> This is the medium size makeup bag. I actually keep this just filled all the time. So whenever I'm going traveling, I just take this. I don't pack it and repack it. But I love it because... Ah! So heavy. I think this alone is like 10 kilo. I'm not gonna lie. So this is the makeup bag. Oh my God, look at that highlighter exploded in here. So this, I haven't even arranged this from the last time I went traveling, but you can see how much makeup it holds. This would be so good as like someone's everyday makeup bag. If you don't have a lot of makeup, then maybe go for a smaller one, but I love this one because you can even grow with it. You can put your makeup brushes here. It also comes with little dividers. You guys can see here in the center, hopefully. And then also at the top here, you can put all your makeup brushes. I just put all my eyeliner and everything in here, my tweezers. What I also like about it is that it actually expands. Even if you put something that's quite deep, in here you guys can see it's got quite a lot of like a zipper space so you can like put quite deep stuff in there and you can still close the lid and then it also has another zipper at the top which actually has another kind of area here this is where i put my little handheld mirror i've got my eyeshadow palette in here it also has a zip here on the side this is where i normally put my mirror and my palette's not normally floating around like that and then in here i keep my makeup wipes so it's got loads of little compartments like here even there's another compartment i put my contact lenses in there if i ever feel a bit jazzy i want to change up my eye color but this honestly is a perfect size for me so if you bought desi's one and you think that maybe that's a bit too big there's this one that's a bit smaller not too small like the small one you know so the next item I'm going to show you guys is all on my phone. So I've got loads of different contraptions on my phone. I know a lot of bloggers normally have some cute cases and a lot of people when they hold my phone, they're like, oh my god, your phone's a brick. And I'm not going to lie, it is totally a brick. But I cannot live without it. Whenever I go out, I rarely bring bags unless I need to bring my passport with me or extra makeup and stuff. Normally, whenever I go out, I just bring my phone and this is everything. So if I lose this bad boy, I actually lost this in Kenya on the plane. That was a mistake. Make sure you go watch my Kenya vlog. This has everything. So it's got my card in here it's got my little bubble tea stamps on here <laughs> i keep my nando's card in here so this is my little card holder case i also love the fact that it has this kind of like bit 
also where you can put your hand because my phone is like an iPhone 8 plus it's a really big phone but I always put my hand in here just to keep my phone from knocking me out you know when I'm laying in bed also something I brought which is so amazing I've gone through so many different types of phone chargers but this one is so good I'll see if I can find the exact one leave the link down below this is a chargeable iPhone case if you actually took off my big fat card holder it's actually quite slim it's not that big at all it's maybe adds like a little bit extra thickness but this is a 4,000 500 mAh so it gives your phone an extra charge and because I'm on snapchat and I'm showing stuff all around the day my life's on my phone basically I love it because all I do is I just press this button here Yes, yeah, so now my phone is basically now charging. What I love about this one is that you can use your headphones through here and you don't have to take off the case. So you guys know that the new iPhones, they don't have that little AUX cable anymore. It just all goes through the lightning cable. And the cases that I bought before, you always had to take off the case to listen to music and it was so annoying. So I was on the hunt on Amazon. I was like, is there one that you can actually listen to music? And this one you can. So you can just plug it straight through and listen to music. Also, I love this one because you just have to plug the charger in and it charges the phone and the case because there's a lot of cases like the Morphe one or there's loads of other brands but you have to charge your case separately and then the phone separately and who's ever going to remember to charge both things so all you need to do is just plug it in at night time it charges the case and the phone and then it gives you an extra charge and then also you guys are probably thinking how Asian am I I actually use this all the time I had a black one I lost it this is my little ah! I'm earring less now. <laughs> this is my little Asian contraption to hold my phone because a lot of times the outfits that I wear never has pockets and I don't bring a bag with me. So a lot of times I just wear this like a bag. <laughs> and I love it so much so it actually has a little button here you just pop it through and it comes off so if you want to take it off it has this little ring here the only thing about this is that on sometimes on snapchat you can hear it like clinking also you guys probably are wondering what the hell is this this is so useless I should probably take it off I actually use my phone all the time to watch YouTube especially when I'm in the shower so I thought oh if I put like a little ring here it can actually stand up but my phone's too goddamn heavy so it just falls down another thing that I love is this little mirror thing here please be aware though because this shatters like if you drop your phone this will shatter and it makes your phone look really really scruffy but i use this all the time especially now that i have braces a lot of times i need to see if something's in my teeth or if my lips is okay or if i'm really oily so this is just like a little mirror screen protector and i use it all the time to like check my teeth to see if there's any lettuce in it if there's something stuck inside my braces it makes me so like conscious of my teeth because i have braces so this is just like a quick mirror i can just like see in here and if i'm ever doing instagram stories or tutorials on snapchat i can actually use a mirror right here and i could do my makeup and i have to just look up here i don't have to get like a separate mirror and make sure i'm like filming all that stuff my phone is my my life i love everything it looks geeky but i don't care okay so next up i have to tell you guys about my mini fridge that i have in my bedroom it's probably the best 40 pounds i've ever spent in my whole goddamn life i have a big fridge downstairs and it's so long sometimes in the middle of the night you're so thirsty or you want some fruit it's long going all the way downstairs so we have a fridge in our room yes we're fat fatties yes 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 and it's just tucked away in the corner it is a little bit loud so if you're quite sensitive to noise maybe find a different one this one just has like a, a light humming sound like mm. you do get used to it though like today we had a power cut and it actually turned off and i was like wow this is what silence feels like but i love it so much it leaves my drink so cold and it actually makes me drink more water because i love cold water so we put like loads of volvic bottles i love volvic volvic is my number one better than evian are you volvic or evian let me know down below but i put loads of bottles in there i also put some fruit i put grapes apples pears anything like that inside the fridge and then in the morning when i get up and start editing i just want like a morning snack i'll just go inside my fridge without even having to leave my bedroom it's freaking great i actually bought mine second hand so on amazon you can actually switch between if you want like a brand new one or like a used one the new one was 80 pounds and the slightly used one was 40 pounds and i was like i don't, literally don't care if it's slightly used i decided to just try out the used one and literally when it came it was brand new i swear it felt like someone maybe opened up the package and was like oh maybe it might be a bit too big or whatever and then sent it back so when i opened it, i was like wow it's still so shiny like brand new so i got the second hand one you have to make sure you really measure out the fridge you know because when i've ordered mine it looks so small and then when it came it's actually quite big do your measurements properly and don't get surprised at me but i love my fridge so much okay so next item i have to tell you guys about is hangers 
this is the hanger that I normally use, okay? This one is from Primark. You get a pack of 10 for four pounds. And it's just like this, like a regular hanger. I always recommend to get the velvet ones because whenever you put your clothing on it, it doesn't like slip off and all that good stuff. The only thing I found about this is that whenever I was folding trousers, I've got a pair of trousers right here. It was just so long because I had to like loop it through and then make sure it's all like this. And then all the time, whenever I tried to rip it out, especially when I've got like tracksuits or anything that's a bit more heavier, this would slip snap and it was just so freaking frustrating i found these on amazon which is actually trouser hangers and it's designed for trousers so i got a packet of 20 for 13 pounds that's the cheapest i could find so i'll leave the link to it down below and i really love this because all you do you fold your trousers in half and then you just slot this through just like that and then whenever you want to take off the trouser you just yank it off also i found with this hanger it's got a really short space here which i really like because when i was hanging stuff on here it will basically be hanging a lot lower and then i'll just be missing so much space because it's taking it all up here so before the trouser was hanging right here so all this space up here will be all taken see it's so much shorter i've got loads of space at the bottom now of my wardrobe and they're just so worth it like even Graham was like i need to get me hangers because i gave him like whatever left i had and he was like hey you need to order me one so now all of his trousers are all the same length there's not too much space up here and he's got a lot more space to put stuff at the bottom of his wardrobe now because this hangs higher so yeah i just really really love it it's just such an easy way to get your trousers on and off and it's not a pain to like fold and hang up your trousers you know it's just so quick and easy okay so next up is for any vloggers out there is my little contraption here for my camera so this is my vlogging camera you guys can see it's battered and bruised it's gone to so many different countries with me and i need to talk about this manfrotto tripod so i actually bought a gorilla tripod before from joby i think and we still have it and we still use it from time to time whenever we want to do like time lapses or anything like that because that one you can like wrap it around and that's what casey nice that uses so i bought myself one of those but when i was googling you know best vlogging equipment everyone had this manfrotto tripod and i was like oh my god why does everyone have this and i always remember this dot that's how i knew everyone had this same freaking tripod and this tripod is so much better than the freaking other one the other joby one is so bulky it's so big this is so good because when you hold it in your hand it stabilizes it when you're walking it's not really jittery and also it's really nice and like compact as well so i can even put it in my bag i also love it that you can you know set it down somewhere so sometimes me and Graham are vlogging us eating so we can just like set this tripod down and the camera can just sit and watch us also it has a little built-in ball head so you just press this button here and then you can move around the tripod so you can tilt it looking up or whatever it's just such a good tripod guys like whenever i film my facial videos this is so good because i can hold it up like this and then i can even like tilt it down as well like that so yeah it's really really good guys it's 20 pounds super cheap and i can see why everyone uses that like, everyone and their mama uses a manfrotto tripod also something you guys must see here that probably will catch your eye so this is my camera's pubes you know it hit puberty <laughs> um no this is actually a wind muffler so a lot of people always ask me about this like what the hell is that little furry thing on top of your camera so if you guys ever watch vlogs it's one of the most frustrating things ever when they're out vlogging especially when it's like windy you can hear all this like psh, psh, like all this windy sound and it was so annoying when we was editing like you could barely hear what we're saying all you can hear is just wind so this muffler thing it was so cheap as well i think it was like five pounds or something you stick it on and it stops that wind from happening so it's similar to like a dead cat but like a smaller version of it we had to stick it down with double-sided sticky tape because it kept freaking falling off it was so annoying and then some of our footage that we get would be like really muffly and then some of the other footage we'll get will be really windy and it was so annoying so now it's just stuck in place all the time the only bad thing about this is that now i can't use a flash on this camera but i barely use this camera to take photos anyway i just use my iphone if i don't have a camera so we could cut it a little bit so that the flash will still work but i just love this little muffler thing it looks ugly but so good for vlogging and then i also have this little camera strap this strap here you can buy from anywhere but i use it all the time and we just vlog like this we also have to put this crossbody someone could try to snatch this off you you know and that's like 500 pound gone next up i'm going to talk about my clamp nipple clamp just joking can you imagine clamping this with your nipple oh my god when i first started out doing back drops and stuff i was like let me just be cheap and buy some like cheap ass clamp and then when it came it was this small ass tiny clamp that look it's not even level it's just so cheap and like oh it's just so bad i wish i didn't spend like six pounds on this instead i went for this and it's so much better all i have to do is just use two clips and it holds it in really well before i had to use like eight of these clips and it would take so long clipping them all on and then this will make like a dip because it wasn't even so now i've got these really really good clips and this is what i used to hang up my backdrop so so 
really, really handy. Get yourself some good clamps because that's the best way to like, really stretch your fabric so you don't have to iron it and all that stuff. It's got like a rubber seal in there so nothing slips out of it. While we're on backdrop, I'm going to talk to you guys about my blackout blind. And I get questions all the time about, you know, my backdrop setting and all that stuff. As you guys can see at the moment, I've got like a grey backdrop. So I also have like a little LED panel which is right here. So this is how I get the little ring light behind me this is the led yn 600 so i'll see if i can leave a link to it down below i don't know if i would recommend this one i do like it but it's not that bright and i want to like amp it up a bit but it was only 100 pounds so really really good something else i need to tell you guys about is my blackout blind so i just drill a blackout blind into the ceiling you want to make sure it's blackout because you don't want it to be see-through i just got a white one so if i show you i can just literally like roll this down by the little blindy roller thing and I can have like a white backdrop like this so what all I do now is I just use this little thing that it comes with it has like a little rod in here and I just secure the fabric on the two sides and really stretch it out and then I just roll it up about halfway it's all an illusion guys look at this fakery I'm showing you guys the real truth it's half rolled down at the top you guys can't really see it but this is all an illusion guys, just a bit of fabric hold up by two clips. And the blackout blind was only £20 as well, so super, super cheap. I've got two more things to show you guys. So, the next contraption I have for you guys, I mentioned it before on my YouTube channel, but it's so freaking good. I actually bought this when I was in America, but I've seen it before on Amazon. And you guys can see all of my lip gloss that's in here, it's so disgusting. But this I have to use all the time, because a lot of times, I don't know what outfit I'm wearing, I always do my makeup first. And then when it comes to picking the outfit, sometimes I'm like, I want a white polo neck. With all this cake on my face so what i do is i put my head in here a little bit claustrophobic not gonna lie when i put on my t-shirts or anything like that it stops getting makeup everywhere so i used to see a, a lot of stylists use this before when i used to do a lot of photo shoots and stuff they always have this little net thing and then they'll put it on and then slide the model through so makeup doesn't go all over like, the collar and stuff like that so cheap so affordable so freaking good guys really really recommend that next up i have this little number <laughs> Sexy. So this is called a U bra. Not gonna lie, I haven't used this since my surgery because I kind of have cleavage now. And before, I would never really go out without a bra. But now, you know, the tatas are here. Oh yeah. If you guys are still with the itty bitty titty committee, this is the best contraption ever. If your boobies are a bit more like you know on the, you know, it's dropped a little bit over the years, you know. This has got your back. So a lot of times before, I'd want to wear like low cut tops, but I always had such a big gap where my cleavage was. So I couldn't wear like a normal bra because you could see it poking through. So this bra here, it dipped really, really low. So I'll show you guys. So I really like this because you can still wear a bra and wear really, really low tops and your boobs will be still squashed together. Before, I used to wear this and put chicken fillets in there as well. So it'll kind of boost all the like side titty in the middle. And then also at the back, it is adjustable strap. So you can do like a cross body. You can do a whole to neck depending on your dress as well and i got a nude version it also comes in black and white as well i think nude is like the cutest color but yeah these are so so good so if you want to wear a really low cut top you can wear a bra and still kind of push everything together next up i have to talk about my little pillow here so this i actually bought in dixon's but i'm pretty sure you can buy on amazon so this is the best neck pillow ever so you can shut this bit in and i love that at the back you guys can see it's flat a lot of these neck pillows have like a round fat ass and it's so annoying because when you're sleeping your head's literally like like this and then it really hurts your neck especially if you're in economy like my stank ass getting a neck pillow like this is so good because you can still sleep upright and sleep straight at the back like i still feel that the backrest thing on my head because it's, it's flat at the back it doesn't make your neck feel all stiff and like you know you have to move forward for it i also love it like this as well because this side bit is really nice and squishy it's like memory foam like a really soft memory foam as well not one of those hard ass fucking rock memory foams you know and even sleeping like this as well is really good to like you know rest my chin on it has this kind of like strap bit here it's kind of like a seat belt thing on here so it's really really tight on your neck so your neck doesn't move around and bobble around on the plane or on long car journeys and stuff but it's just so good guys it's like 20 pounds it's quite expensive for a neck pillow but i have like probably at least 13 neck pillows downstairs i get given a lot and i buy stuff because i forget it but this neck pillow it beats all the other neck pillows even my friend jamie genevieve and cc clark they have this i actually saw them with it and i was like i'm gonna need me one of those okay guys so that's it 
for this video i hope you guys love my little amazon haul i love me some amazon i'm an avid prime member guys if you're not signed up to amazon prime you can actually be cheap like me and just keep applying for the one month free amazon prime just make sure that you turn off the rolling subscription because that's when they get your ass so i'm literally like one of those memes when they keep changing their wigs and stuff I keep changing and making new emails so I can get the free Amazon Prime. And then, Amazon, if you're watching this, maybe turn off now. But sometimes I even complain and I say I want another month free of Amazon Prime. And they give it to you every single time you complain. So, if you want to be a scoundrel like me, guys, follow my footsteps. <laughs> so, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you guys have found some awesome products from Amazon down below. I would love to know what other stuff I can buy. I'm going to leave all the links to all the products that I feature in this video down below in the description. If you guys haven't followed me on all my other social platforms yet, it's just X Tweely on Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram and Facebook. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Enjoy the bloopers. Oh, tea break. Mm. Why do you finish so quickly? Can you imagine if I was sponsored by Amazon? Living the life. <laughs> Everyone can dream, right? Okay, I'm actually have to get ready now to go out. Why am I so bad at hair, guys? What is this?